All right, so we got two figs that's ready. So let's check them out. This fig over here is long yellow, yellow long neck. And there you go, right up in there, huge. So we will check him out. Let's see what he looked like. Let me get this up. Oh. Wow, look how big he is. Huge. Huge. Look how big he is. About the size, probably a little bit. Yeah, about a little bit bigger than a softball. And we got another one. This right here is the Golden Riverside. You see that? Golden Riverside. There we go right there. Let's get them off of there. Ugh, there you go. All right, let's break off the leaf. <clears throat> so just gonna cut them open and see what they look like. Hopefully they not overripe and a little spoiled, but we gonna check them out. I'm gonna see if I can find something so I can show you how big they are. Cause they about the size of a tennis ball or a softball. So look, they're huge. Mm -hmm. So this one right here is the Golden River. And this one right here is a yellow long neck. So let me go and get a ball or something. Let's see if I can find a ball right quick. Here go a little ball right here. So this is a little ball. And we're gonna measure it up to see how big they are compared to this ball. Same size, it's huge. And the yellow long neck is bigger. So let's open them up. So we will start with this huge one, see what it look like on the inside. See if he's spoiled or what. Oh wow, look at the flowers. Nice. And he's not spoiled. Looks real nice. Oh wow, look how big. Look how big he is. So let's see what the yellow long neck look like. Huge, oh wow. Look at all that. The chicken's gonna love it. It got a little bit of red in the inside. I don't know what that is, but it looks real good and juicy. Yep, you can see all the little flowers and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you see all the juice that's on the knife? They real juicy. This is almost the size of a, a, a lime. It's pretty big. Mm-hmm. So we'll go to the chickens. They're doing pretty good this season. This is their second season. First year they were producing figs. Look, the chicken's going crazy. So this is the first year my uh, trees were producing figs. And like I was saying... I have my tree, I put my trees in the um, in air pots. And as soon as I put my trees in them air pots, they just start taking off. But they love them. You know? So I think next year, according to scripture, that I can start eating uh, my figs. Because you gotta have your tree in your possession for three years. And on the fourth year or the fifth year, you can uh, sell them in the third year, you can eat them. So look, the chickens tearing them up. Yeah, they love them. So let me show you the pots that I put them in again. So these is the air pots that I put all my trees in. It's my peach tree right here. And some big air pots. And what the air pots is, they have little holes in them, right? You see all them little holes? And so what it do, 
is self pruning roots. So when it's self pruning roots, it makes the tree produce more roots. And when the tree produces more roots, it makes the tree more vigor and it makes it grow better, better and it makes it more healthier. You know? And it helps you with uh, not overwatering because the bottom is open. Right. So if you can see, I put all my fig trees in these pots and they start growing like crazy. And producing a lot of figs. Look at all that on this one. This, which one is this? Italian 258. Look at all the figs on there. First year. And this is the fall, so we at the end of the season and they just producing like crazy. Yeah, so as soon as the leaves start falling off, I'm gonna prune them and cut them back. And that's it. We got one more fig that's ready. And that's Ismar. It is more right there. It might be ready now. Let me see. We're gonna check that out tomorrow. It's ready now. But everything doing good. Uh, and they all in these pots. The only thing about these pots, you have to water or have a, a, a irrigation system like this right here. Like this irrigation system I got on all my plants. Cool little irrigation system. Because you have to water them like every other day when you're in extreme heat. But I got my peach trees in the pots. My grapefruit tree with this big old grapefruit right here, huge. My lime trees. Yeah. All my trees up here, my apple trees and stuff. Another lime tree. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything doing pretty good. So we'll get back at you with some more figs. And I think we got one more fig part tomorrow. It'll be ready from the Ismar. That big thing right there is huge. Yeah. So I'll be back at y'all. Shalom.